Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKTI.com. We're here at Qualcomm's booth at CS 2014, and we're checking out the Snapdragon 805. Uh, and we're here with Manish, who's going to tell us more about it. Okay. Hey guys, um, um, so what we're showcasing here is the newest uh, processor called Snapdragon 805. So Snapdragon 800 has been very successful for Qualcomm. With Snapdragon 805, we're bringing in a lot of new cool features. One of those is the new GPU that we're showcasing here. So Snapdragon 805 has uh, Adreno 420 GPU, which is faster, which is 40% faster than the older generation Snapdragon 800, um, as well as adds in a lot of new cool features. So it's a completely brand new architecture based on DirectX 11.2. Uh, so it does support things like geometry shaders and hardware tessellation. So this particular demo, is the hardware tessellation. So what you're looking at here is the content as it would look on Snapdragon 800. You can look at the wireframe model and how scarce it is and then you can look at the details um, or no details on the ground, it's pretty flat. And also at the back of the Hornet, you know, there's not much details. But what Snapdragon 805 GPU can do is it, it, it can add, it has hardware tessellation. So you can, you can increase the tessellation factor you can increase the tessellation factor all the way and you can see how GPU has dynamically added these triangles to the existing geometry. And that what this gives is in combination with the displacement map, the mapping effect, you can have now crevasses within the, uh, or the crevasse effect within the ground itself. You can see le more level of more details on the back of the hornet. So all that is possible because of the tessellation. So I'm, I'm just sliding it and you can see all of this is happening dynamically and the GPU is doing. And since the GPU is adding all these triangles on the fly and not they're not loaded from memory or generated by CPU, a significant power saving. So Snapdragon 805 and the Adreno 420 GPU is built to do all the console quality graphics that the highest end PCs and consoles can do, but in a much, much efficient manner because you're, not, you're going to be saving a lot of power from bandwidth and, uh, and not using CPU. So this is something that developers use on console and highest end PCs. Now it is possible on uh, mobile with Snapdragon 805. So what we're showcasing here is um, a demo called Maroon. It is based on Unity 4.0. So Unity is a middleware that most of the game developers use today. And we partner with Unity to implement or get the OpenGLS 3 functionality for Snapdragon within Unity. So it's using a lot of cool features like high resolution textures, like 2K by 2K textures, which is not so common on, on mobile platforms. And it also uses fe uh, features like transform feedback for animation, geometry instancing, for drawing like the vegetation, um, uh, and then, uh, you know, shadows, uh, PCF shadows, which is percentage close filtering for shadows, you know, so all sort of uh, things that you would expect um, in an OpenGL desktop or DirectX 11 uh, desktop-like features now are in OpenGL 3 and we work with Unity to implement within their engine. So anybody who's using Unity uh, on Snapdragon can go ahead and use OpenGLS 3 features uh, very easily. And this is natively rendering at 2560 by 1440, which is, uh, and running pretty smooth if you can look at it, it's like more than 30 frames per second. So, uh, and very high resolution um, gaming now possible with Unity on Snapdragon 805. This is a gaming performance demo. This is actually Assassin's Creed Pirates from Ubisoft. This game is already available on the Google Play Store. Uh, however, this is what it looks like running on Snapdragon 805. So let's check out performance. 
as we get into some action here, fighting off another ship.